Hello everyone, in this video we're talking about one of the basics of architecture, which is form. A lot of us do not know the exact meaning of this word, and might confuse it with the word shape or other words that have similar meanings. So form is a three-dimensional object in space, and there's four elements that makes a form, which are shape, size, colour, and texture. Shape is the outline of the form. It can be a pyramid, can be a sphere, or even an irregular form. Size is the dimensions of the form, which is the length, width, and depth. And also the scale of the form comparing to other forms. So the sphere is small comparing to the pyramid, for example. Third is color. It's important because it affects the visual way of the form. And fourth is texture. It's the visual quality of the surface by the size, shape, arrangement and proportions of the parts. So when there's a shape that has a size, colour and texture, then it's a form. Now this form will also have properties that are position, orientation and visual inertia. So I'll explain to you these properties using this random location. So position is the location of the form in relation to its environment. How far it is from the surrounding buildings, is it far, close or touching? The orientation is the position of the form in relation to the ground, compass point or the person viewing the form. So here, the main facade is facing north. If we view it from this point, we are facing the back of the building. And that is orientation. And visual inertia is the stability of the form. It depends on the geometry and its orientation in relation to the ground plan. Like you see here in this example. You should keep in mind that these properties and characteristics of form might be affected and changed depending on the conditions under which we view it. It depends on, for example, the perspective we see the form from that might present different shapes as well as the distance from the form will affect the apparent size. Next, I'm going to explain to you the articulation of form. What is it and how can a form be articulated and the purpose of it? Articulation is how the surfaces of a form come together. It's the relationship of the different parts of the form, how they connect. Articulation is always related to the corners. Corners is the physical expression. Putting two surfaces together creates a corner. But how, how this corner is treated, how it's presented, how it's designed is articulation. We'll see some examples of articulation and how it affects the design. One way is for the surfaces to have different or contrasting qualities such as colour, texture, texture, material or pattern. And this affects the perception of the corner existence. And this depends on the 
perspective of the viewer and the light illuminating the form. So your mind understands there's a corner where the change is happening. Having a corner as an independent element, this articulation usually reinforces the corner. It gives it an importance. Another way is removing corners. And this deteriorates the volume of the form, allows visual continuity to the interior. Other than having trap corners, it can also be smooth and rounding. This articulation makes the viewer see the form as a whole volume instead of individual surfaces. It emphasizes and puts the focus on the volume using one continuous smooth surface. It also gives a sense of playful, smooth, soft, So we've got to the end of the video. I hope this has been helpful for you and clear enough to understand. And thank you for watching.